On certain issues, war, spending, the Yankees, we know that America is divided. But nowhere are we as fractious as we are on guns. According to a new Fairleigh Dickinson poll, 73% of Democrats say that Congress needs to pass new laws to protect the public from gun violence. But the views of Republicans are almost completely opposite. 65% don't think new laws are necessary. GOP resistance to new gun safety measures isn't really headline news, but when it comes to the reason for the divide, think 72-point font above the fold banners. That same poll found that 32% of Republicans think that facts about the shootings at Sandy Hook Elementary last year are being hidden. Yes, Sandy Hook conspiracy theories, supported, apparently, by a third of Republicans. The good people at Fairleigh Dickinson then deliver this nugget. 44% of Republicans think that an armed revolution in order to protect liberties might be necessary in the next few years. Disbelieving exclamation points? Mine. 44%, that's almost half of one of the two parties that govern the United States of America. They think an armed revolution may be needed to protect our liberties in the next few years. Who is fomenting this fear? Why do presumably normal, rational Americans think that an armed revolution might be necessary in the next few years? What has gotten into their heads? For one, Glenn Beck and his Beckian theories of apocalypse. He says the heavy police response to the Boston Marathon bombings reminded him of the Nazis' door-to-door -door searches during the Holocaust. When they say stay in your house, they mean stay in your house. When they say don't look out the window, don't approach a window, everybody says, that. oh, there's no way that any of this is going to happen in America. Whatever, you can live in your little dream world. How about an armed revolution to stop the socialist menace? Tea Party fire starter Rick Santelli is still fired up. Put those people to work. Put pro-growth policies, not socialism in place. To remedy That's now. when you're going down the wrong road. And then there's New Hampshire State Representative Edmund Gionne, who says his constituents are telling him they may have to use their guns to foment revolution if this tyrannical federal government insists on pursuing end times immigration laws. They are worried that they're going to have to use these guns because of our own government now. Is there anything in Washington that says any telltale signs that maybe we might be headed for an internal revolution given the fact that these kind of things are going on? According to Fox News, two billboards in Greeley, Colorado are telling it like it is, which is this. Give up your guns and you'll suffer the same fate as the Native Americans. Well, I, I, I can't find what, what's insensitive. Okay, so some Native Americans think it's insensitive. Others think it was accurate. Turning your guns will take care of you. The government, a, a lot of us think that that's believe that this national registry is like turning in your guns or at some what point. What national registry? Well, the one that the, that the, the, the <laughs> gun law advocates would love to have. But how to have an armed revolution without any ammo? Sure, high-capacity magazines are still available for recre rec rec recreational use, <laughs> but what about the bullets? According to Alex Jones, President Obama has been stockpiling all of the ammunition. Jones's InfoWars website warns that Homeland Security buys enough ammo for a seven-year war against the American people. Looking at the world as Jones and company do through a wildly distorted crazy person lens, the government's purchase of 1.6 billion rounds of ammo isn't taking advantage of economies of scale. No, it is a precursor to an all-out war against the American people. The question is, which is more disconcerting, the Alex Joneses of the world or the Republicans in the Senate who seem to actually believe him. Senator James Inhofe of Oklahoma is on board with the conspiracy. Last week, Inhofe introduced the Ammo Act of 2013 to stop the U.S. government from hoarding ammo and keeping it out of the hands of patriotic Americans, saying President Obama has been adamant about curbing law-abiding Americans' access and opportunities to exercise their Second Amendment rights. One way the Obama administration is able to do this is by limiting what's available in the market with federal agencies purchasing unnecessary stockpiles of ammunition. These folks have had it. They're ready to throw, the yo throw off the yoke of this tyrant, this all-powerful commander-in-chief, this demagogue who, who, who through sheer power of manipulation and mind control couldn't manage to get a background check bill 
through Congress. On the gun bill, you put seems everything into it to try to get it passed. Obviously, it didn't. Do you still have the juice to get the rest of your agenda through this Congress? Well, if you put it that way, Jonathan, maybe I should just pack up and go home. Golly. Juice or no juice, 44 percent of Republicans still believe we may need to rise up against this tyranny. And after Newtown, guns are flying off the shelves. Maybe it's time to take off the crazy person glasses and acknowledge reality. The danger is not coming from our government. It is coming from fear mongers and fools.